different again this time and it's not going to be gun related it's not going to be well it is outdoor related but um it's a bow my new bow now i've been meaning because i used to be uh the local club local archery club i used to be the secretary and i'm also a a, a nationally accredited uh field archery coach so, um, I, I, I got out of it for whatever, because the meetings are only one month, uh, one Sunday of every month and, uh, the third Sunday of every month. And, uh, with, with work commitments, a lot of the time, like I'd end up going uh, in the end, it was getting less and less, pardon me. I am drinking light beer, not heavy, just light beer. It's hot. Mm. So, and I actually, I did get rid of quite a few bows that I had. Um, and I had one break, which was very disappointing. Uh, and that was one of the more expensive bows, well, traditional bows, recurve bows. Um, but recently, uh, just on YouTube, being on YouTube, I spend a lot of time on YouTube because I don't watch TV, so if I'm, if I'm relaxing, I'll just watch YouTube. Uh, now, there's one particular bow that's been catching my attention, a uh, traditional bow, very budget priced. Um, is the, what's it called? Well, what I ordered was the, the Black Hunter. Now, if, uh, there's a few different brands that it goes under, a few different names that it goes under. Um, but it is, this, it is exactly the same bow. Um, now, one of the advantages of the, of the Black Hunter is that you can have either a recurve or a longbow. Now, so that's what I ordered because on the, and I got it from Lancaster, Lancaster Archery Supply in the United States, um, who I used to deal with a fair bit back in the day when I was solid in the archery. And um, so I didn't really want to, I didn't really want to get one off eBay or Amazon. I prefer, with things like this, I did prefer going through either Lancaster Archery or, oh, there was one other really big, so I think, Bow Hunters Warehouse or something like that it was called. I, 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 I think, um, oh, what was the other one? Another one was, uh, yeah, I can't remember. Oh, I've forgotten the sites. It's been so long ago since I was into it. But anyway, I am getting back into it. And I, I, I saw one review of it and then I thought, I'll, I'll see if, how many more reviews there are of this bow. And there was this heaps. Like, th there's a lot of reviews of this bow. So there's obviously a lot of people using it. And um, the reviews were over a period of a few years. So it's been around for a while now. And uh, if the reviews are still good, then it must be a pretty good bow. So on the Lancaster website, um, in the shop, it's got Black Hunter recurve take down bow now <laughs> but so um i have to say that uh this isn't this was the box that it came in comes in pieces broken down because take down um but it was double boxed 
So this box was inside another bigger box, which is good because um, the outside box, yeah, it was it had been crushed in the middle. But this box that it, that it actually came in was totally intact. It had not, as you can see, it hasn't been crushed. So good for them. And it was, in actual fact, the delivery was very very prompt. I have to say, I think about ten days or something. So to get from the United States to me in 10 days is quite a feat. So, yeah, that's, that was really, really good. But anyway, so I bought it, I ordered the Black Hunter. Now what I got instead was the Galaxy, what's it called? The Galaxy Ember 60 inch takedown recurve bow, non ILF limbs. And it cost me $129.99 US dollars with $34.95 US postage or shipping and handling. So it's, I mean, it's not, you know, it's not a UBU um, eBay Chinese longbow, which aren't long, they're not longbows, uh, special for mm, whatever, less than 100 bucks. Uh, they're usually rubbish, I know, and I know that from experience. Um, <clears throat> this isn't the first, as you can see, it's not the first recurve takedown bow that I've owned. This is a uh, an Internature, which um, is one of the, sort of like the cheaper, um, cheaper recurve brands. Sort of, really, I think they're really not not the greatest. Of things you know but um, it did the job this is 50 pounds at, at where it doesn't say it just says 50 pounds so I'd say probably 28 inches that's usually standard sort of draw length that they max the bows the off the shelf bows out at. <coughs> <coughs> sorry might have COVID um, but god it's gotten really dark all of a sudden what I wanted to say was that this bow most of the reviews are really pretty good with it um, and I'll say that I don't know what this riser is made of but it's really heavy like really heavy I don't think that it's any any of the screw inserts the ferrule ferrules 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 whatever uh, I don't know what this laminate it's laminated I don't know what this they've laminated with, but I'm just wondering if they got. I don't know what they've laminated with, but it's really heavy. The riser is really, really heavy. Like surprisingly, I was expecting it to be weigh nothing. It weighs more than that one. That one's. Check out the difference in the size of the risers, and this riser is heavier. So that's the riser. If you don't know. Um, now the limbs. It looks like someone's gone to town with like it's just some very, very, very fine sandpaper to take the gloss off everything. Because at first I thought it was dust on them, but it's not. It's yeah, it looks like someone sanded them. Um, it's obviously they're a very dull black finish. Um, so it's more hunter. This is a hunter's bow. It's not. It's not a target bow. Because and the reason I say that is because. There are no screw holes, there are no ferrules for anything. Stabilizer, sights, uh, you know, arrow, quiver, or anything. There's nothing. It is bare. This is a bare bow, like literally bare bow. There is nothing on it. Um, so it's definitely a hunting bow. And in most, in, well, actually, in all of the reviews that I've seen, there's quite a few. Um, people raved about the riser, about the handle on the riser, and I have to say that is probably the best. I've got to tell you, that's the best that I've handled. Absolutely, the best. Um, as far as build quality. Most of the reviews said that they were really good, and it is, 
but it's not perfect. Like, you know, if I got a, if I gave you a good, it's a real, it's a nice satin finish all over except here. There's a big spot here where it's all just rough. Um, uh, uh, it's a bit strange. Not rough, but just you can see. And there's there's run, there's runs in there. Whatever the whatever they coated this with, there's runs in it. Yeah, it's obvious. I mean, it's made to a price at the end of the day, but the, the, which doesn't really worry me. Like, just the small aesthetic, you know, imperfections, eh, not a biggie. For a hunting bow, you know, I'm, this isn't going to be gracing my wall. This is going to be out there trying to kill things with. Um, and you know, I have to say that the Galaxy Ember. It's 55 pounds at 28 inches. Now, um, I do have a scale, but I haven't measured it. Um, and I, ha I haven't shot this yet. I haven't shot it, but, uh, because I think the first real opportunity will be this weekend, which is a few days away. Um, yeah, and, and I think it's going to do particularly well. It's going to take me a while to get... You know, I haven't shot a bow of any description in years. So, yeah, the old shoulders are going to get a workout. Now, when you get it, it's in pieces. You've got the two limbs, you've got the riser, you've got the string. Um, you've got a bag with the two screws and an Allen key to do them up. <clears throat> and you get a square of uh, calfskin. I, I don't know if this is, I don't think this is calfskin. Um, I think it might be cat or something. Like literally, it's so incredibly soft. It's so, calfskin hairs are usually a bit thicker. This is like really fine. Uh, who knows, probably, I don't know, panda fur. God knows, might be made of anything. But you gotta put the, you gotta, it's 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 got the 3M um, glue backed uh, thing on it, so you just got to cut it to whatever shape you prefer. So I I don't know if you can see that. I'm mean, I just sort of <coughs> yeah put it on them because um, one nice thing about this bow is that both surfaces that the arrow contacts are radiused, so you haven't got like a flat surface on the window. Where the arrow is just going right down that flat surface, the length of it. <coughs> Pardon me. Um, yeah, so the arrow only contacts a little bit of the riser of the arrow shelf and the window. So yeah, I, I actually I can't wait to shoot it. I, all the re reviews have been really, you know, really really positive. So. Um, yeah, but if you want to get it from Lancaster Archery, even though it's called the Black, and it is, it is the Black Hunter bow, you know. Um, the, the, and the way you can tell is that, <clears throat> see on this bow, even though the, the bottom limb will have the writing on it, so you know that's the bottom limb, but they are interchangeable, they're exactly the same. So it's, the bow, yeah, limbs are symmetrical, they're, exactly the same whereas with this with the black hunter so you can tell straight away it's a black hunter because the it, that's totally different the limb ends are totally different you can't you can't mix them up you know uh yeah but i can't wait to shoot it i think it's great uh it's not really a review as such of it um because there's there's a lot heaps and heaps of reviews of this thing um, I just wanted to let you know what you're going to get if you order a Black Hunter from Lancaster Archery. You're going to get a Galaxy Amber with exactly the same. I don't know how many different brands this is going under and different names and model, model names. But uh, yeah, it's um, it definitely seems to be a winner because it's very reasonably priced. Um, obviously, with. Uh, with today's exchange rate, the Australian dollar is in the tubes, and um, 
Yeah, so I've actually paid, you know, relatively speaking, a fair bit for it. But um, back in the day, when Australian Doll was parody, you know, uh, I would have got it for 130 bucks, but no. Um, now, yeah, that's pretty much all I've got to say. Uh, so if you, if, you, if you do order a, a Black Hunter from Lancaster, you're going to get a Galaxy Ember recurve or I probably I don't know you know I'll get used to this and um, or maybe even before I'll get the longbow as well I, w I won't just buy the limbs I'll, I'll buy a separate bow because uh, you know it's like switch barrel guns yeah they're good in theory but you know, nobody really uses them they always stick one barrel on there and stick to it which is what I found so, and because it's so reasonably priced, you know, and, and it is, I mean, I, I, you know, I've owned dirt cheap bows to, you know, $1,500 bows and $1,500 back when the Australian dollar was parity. So now they'd be like $2,300 bows Australian. <clears throat> so I've owned, you know, quality, but, you know, yeah, obviously not Olympic, you know, Ten thousand dollar bows, but you know, thousand bucks is a thousand bucks. Um, so I've owned quality bows. The you you can tell that it was made, um, you know, quickly. Um, but I know a quality bow when I see one, and this is a quality bow. There's no doubt about it. It's it's it's, it's very well. It seems it appears to be very very well designed. Um, some of the, like, just the finish, you know what I mean? It's like when you buy a gun and uh, you got sharp edges and rough surfaces and same story. That little bit of extra time, you know, they're just punching these out by the thousands, so yeah. But, like, 